I, I, yo, yo, Lotto King, give you, you, I'm gonna give it to y'all like this, freestyle, here we go. Your Honor, just, just execute me there, because I can't get any kind of justice. You're paying the price, price, you're about to be a sacrifice, price, and you'll think it's alright, right, you need to open your eyes, oh. What's going on, people? El Lotto King in the building. Let's get straight to the point. Now, last couple of years, I've been noticing everybody replicating this Gerard Morin setup or whatever. A couple of years ago, I seen his videos. I created my own. I left it alone, thinking people would experiment and come up with their own. Or eventually come up with what I came up with, but I've yet to see it. So... I'm going to introduce my version. This is the Kevin McFarlane Generator by El Lotto King. Check it out. Check it out. Now what we have here is my inputs connected to my buck right here. Converter, positive and negative. Got my high power DC over here. Bring it around, what this is, the light dimmer so I can control power a little bit. I got a half the power supply up here that I done took apart and just threw up on top. Got high voltage out over there. So, full size of my generator is about six inches. And we can find that out by tape measure. Okay, six inches, full size. A little half a power supply, five inches. My little light dimmer is about five inches tall. Over here, my generator, full size is three inches. The motor part of my generator is inch and a half. And the generator part is an inch and a half, baby. Let's do it, because when we do it, we do it right. So, my boots converter is connected down here to my 12-volt power supply. I'm going to turn it on, and this should come on, and I'm going to put it on. I'm going to turn it back off. Bam. 12.49 volts. So, you see, here's my off-on switch. Put it back on for you. So, you see, that's what's controlling that. Okay, now here's my input output already showed you that. I'm gonna turn it, leave it like that sideways. Matter of fact, let's measure the output before I experiment a little bit. Make sure these wires are not touching because if they are, we're gonna get a nice big spark. Okay, so I'm gonna set this, turn this down to about 8 volts. Start off with 8 volts. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's not do 12 volts. Let's not do 24. Let's not do 36. Let's do 8 volts. So y'all can see. This is not a replica. This is an original, baby. 8 volts. Bam! Now, what could I do with 8 volts? What could I do with 8 volts? We obviously can hear I could turn a motor with that 8 volts. Bam! Little RC motor, little tiny one. 8 volts. No, that's going to spin. Let's see what my generator could produce out of that 8 volts. Eight volts going in. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's probably too bright here. Yeah, let that dim down. Why I did that? <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to see. Now let's see. Give me. You know, bear with me because you see all these wires here. It's all jerry rigged up. Matter of fact, let me go over to my plug. As you see, I made a homemade plug right here. Bam! Homemade plug. Kind of raggedy. I'll zoom. I'll zoom in on it for y'all. See, right there, homemade plug. Plug. Let's see, positive and negative. No matter, because it's AC. Okay, see? Bear with me, like I said. 
could be the multimeter. Two votes off of eight votes. Ninety-three. It's a batter. Ninety-three votes. It ain't enough. Damn, it ain't even enough for you. Shit. Okay. 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 Huh? Okay. Let's turn that up. Not enough. Hundred and eleven. Hundred and ten votes. Is that enough? Eight votes. 110, eight votes DC, 110 AC, 112 AC. You like that? 112 volts from eight volts? Huh? I can turn it down. Yes, yes, I'm controlling that voltage. Down to 51 volts. Back up real quick. Eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, 110 votes from 8 volts, baby. El Lotto King ain't done. Let's check out the DC side. Or let's, as a matter of fact, let's see what's up here. Is there anything up here? Look at this, this is my output up here. I got it jerry rigged. I got a capacitor right here, capacitor right there. That's my, that's my negative, that's my positive. And then I have a negative coming off of this transistor, so I have two negatives, one positive. Let's see what they are. Positive, negative. Real quick. Oh yes. Stay still. Come on. Stop jumping around. I got three hundred. <laughs> okay. Now I know y'all saying, "What the hell? How did he go from eight volts to one hundred and ten to three hundred? But yes, bear with me, guys. Like I said, this is. Uh, 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 uh. This is the Kevin McFarlane generator. Remember that, Kevin McFarlane. Let's check that again. Oh, it's jigging up on me. It's sped up. It's sped up. I'm gonna get too much voltage. Let's check it anyway. Okay, so 339. Let's say 330. Let's check my other output. It should be about the same. 330. Uh. 320, okay. So I got 330 volts AC, 320 volts AC, and off of the main supply, or the plug, whichever one you want to say, I didn't even check this, but I'll show you. See, 112 over there. That's 112 coming off the plug over here in the front. Now, let's go to the DC side. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna go to the DC side yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Now, we seen what eight eight volts got me. AC, 112 volts over there on that side. 330 volts on this side. Wait till I show y'all guys with my power cell, which I'm gonna be surprised. Now, I got a question for y'all. Serious question. What is this? These are LEDs, right? Let's zoom out a little bit for y'all so y'all can see. I see that? They're all LEDs. Yes, they are. LEDs. That's 200 LEDs. There's 15, more than 200. There's 15 in each row. And there's 15 rows across. couple of them are out so I'm just gonna say there's 200 LEDs what I gotta my question is is can I light 200 LEDs with 8 volts DC LEDs DC 8 volts could I light these how much energy does it take to light these can I light them with 8 volts 
if it takes two volts to light each LED and they're all connected together, let's knock it in half and say it takes one volt to light each LED. How many amps need to flow through, milliamps need to flow through each LED for it to light up? How many watts will it take amps plus volts to light 200 LEDs? Would you guys like to see how much it takes? Why don't we find out? <laughs> now, I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to go around to the DC side. And remember, I have these wires right here, so the more I turn it, the more they're going to get tangled. So, have to be nice and cautious. And you can say, hey, well, why do you got the wires? Because I don't want you to, why are the wires so short? Because I don't want you to say they're coming from anywhere else. They're short, you see where they're coming from, don't you? Yeah, we got two wires. That's it. There's the, oh yeah, I didn't show you the back, right? Yeah, this is all it is. It's a board of LEDs, there ain't nothing else. It's open, wide open, that's why it's disconnected. This belongs up here. Just took it off and put it right there, disconnected it so you can see there's nothing connected. Two wires coming out of here, and this part belongs on here. The plug's connected it and goes into the socket in the wall. AC to DC. Okay, this is the board that belongs in the back of here to run these LEDs. As you can see, it has the bridge rectifier up there. It has a DC capacitor, the bridge rectifier right there and dot with the diodes. We got the two AC capacitors and we got some resistors, that's all. Nothing fancy. It's an LED board, that's all. So how much has to flow through that board to light these up? I guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. How we doing around here? Okay. Let's see if my generator is as good as Gerard's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I can do this because it's very aggravating. Okay, positive right here because it is DC, so I got to be right about this. Positive DC output. Negative DC output. Put, put. Okay, now, the drum roll. You guys really think I can light this? I had all these votes, I had all these votes, but without the arms, I can't light the LEDs. Some kind of arms to go to here. Okay, now it's hard for me to turn this, you know the wires are real short. But that's a good thing, because now you can see me lift it up. See the wires. Bam, so I'm going to turn it this way, so you can see the LEDs. Trying not to mess up the wires I have not touch. Okay, here we go. See if it works. Ho 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 Christmas! Ha ha! I see Christmas! Do you see Christmas? Eight volts. Eight volts DC. Two hundred LEDs. Two hundred LEDs. Oh my goodness, oh, I can control the power, oh wow, what is this? 8 volts, 200 LEDs, it's Christmas. Would you like to see it brighter? Would you like to see it brighter than this, my friend? Okay, let's, let's give it, let's give it the full 12 volts. 12 volt battery, okay? 12 volt battery, here we go. Twelve volts. Twelve volts. It's not such an a wires over here. Okay. Twelve volts. We need more power. We have to stabilize. Oh it got brighter. Ho 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 my friend. 
12 volts. Touch guys. Work will be here. Work will be here. Come on now. Okay. Okay now. That's actually with this on. Oh come on wires. What is touching? I don't want to get shot neither man. Something's touching. I don't want to get shot either. Oh, whatever it was, just snapped out of it. Oh, I think my thing, my what you call it, is coming loose on my motor. You can see it. Ah, straighten it out, guys. Straighten it out. It was driving me crazy, but I fixed it. Okay. So, boom, that's 12 volts. Do you see that? That's 200 LEDs. 200 LEDs. 12 volts. Now, watch. I should be able to get a little bit brighter if I turn this. Because this, I got a load on right here. This is a load. I got a load right there, but I have nothing connected to it. And then I got the load over here on the other side with this, with the DC. Now, this ballast is actually helping a little bit, but let's turn it off. Now it's off. So it's not this. <laughs> it's just, this right here is just... Let me control it. See how it got dimmer when I turned it on? That's because it's another load on it. When I turn on the voltage, it messes with it. You can tell the difference. But 12 volts, you can't even tell with it. And every time I move this, you see it dims because all my wires are right here. The circuitry is real bad. But how many volts did you say that it took to light up? Oh. 200 LEDs? How many? Let's see what we're getting out of here with a load on it. Oh shit, load off now, load off, load off. What happened? Okay, this is really not trying to let me set it down. What I'm trying to do is set it down so I could check the thing on voltage, but it won't let me, man. Keep shutting out on it. gonna go under it but I guess I'll go to the back connection where it's coming kind of over there. I could, I could actually turn this for you. Okay. But from me turning it like that it's something sparking on this and I gotta like solder all these wires down. So let's check at least we get a quick check with a load. I want to see what it is with a load on it and kind of DC are we getting with a load load on it. 8 12 volts going in. Make sure y'all can see, because I can't see. Now remember this DC. So that's with a load on it. I keep shortening it out too, man. With this dimmer connected to it too. Bam, so 70 something volts, something like that. I didn't short it out. 
Okay, so I'll say 70 volts with the load on it. Let's, is this dimmer still on? Yeah, let's turn the dimmer off. Without messing it up over here. Okay, see it's much brighter now. That's what was slowing it down, that's what's jumping around, it's this. Those wires are loose. So now let's see what it is, now that I turned that off. See? Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Easy 95 volts. With this off, as you see, it pulls more electricity through these LEDs that was actually holding electricity back. That's 12 volts, man. Can't beat it. Now, what else can this do? How about, while we have the 12 volt, volt load on, let's see if we can do anything else. Let's leave the lights on. Uh, let's see if I can hold those up without falling. If I can, we'll be doing good. Let's turn this back on, because we know this is a load too. We already seen, once we turned it off, we got more power over there, so we know this is a load. There's no denying a load on this. Okay. You notice it dims out, starts bugging out. Turn this down. Now, let's make use of my plug over here. And let's take... Now this is... I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's 120 volts AC in, and it's 18 volts DC out. Now it's actually a 18 volts DC, 400 milliamp out. Now it's funny, all I got to do is send in 120 volts AC at 60 hertz, and I get 18 volts DC plus... 400 milliamps, hmm, seems like this plug's creating milliamps, doesn't it? Now what this plug is, like I said, 18 volts DC, it's actually connected to a battery charger. It's connected to this 18 volt battery charger. Now this charger, this battery is blown, half of it's blown, it only charges up to 9 volts. Probably at like 6 volts right now, I could probably put it on the charge to show you. But as you see, that's all that is, is this battery charger. See, nothing fancy. The light's kind of bright. Just the battery charger. Nothing else in there. I like to take things apart so you can see inside of them. Now here's the cord right here. See, it's the whole cord. Why is my phone blurry? There we go. There's the whole cord plugged into the battery charger. And I slid it open so that way we can measure the input going in. Now let's take this plug and plug it on the back of my machine. And I'm going to try not to get shocked. Okay, so bear with me. Shocking would really hurt right now. All that dang on power. Figure out a spot to hold this, man, so I won't get shot. Ah, will it make it? Will it make it? Oh, it's trying. Bam! It's in. The red light is on. Can we consider it a load? We got the red light on because we consider it a load. I don't know if y'all see it, yeah, you can see it. Red light's on. Let's see what we got going in here. Now we put another 120 volt load on this. You know that, right? Yes, my lights are still lit. Not as bright, most of them, but they're still lit. All of them are lit up. See? All of them are lit.
Hell. All 200 of them are still lit. And I just put a hundred and another 120 volt load on it. Remember, we're working with 12 volts here, not 36, not 24. We're working with 12. Now let's see. We we, are, we can test the input that's going in this plug just by going right here because you see these orange wires. Those orange wires right there are connected to that plug running into my generator. So if I just go right here on the generator, we'll see what we have left after I got over 200 over 200 volts to run those LEDs in DC and another 120 in AC right here coming out the same generator let's see what we have left over after that load this is AC still got 78 volts Oh, what you say? That ain't enough? 78 volts ain't enough for you after I got 120 load on and I'm laying 200 LEDs? 73, 72 volts ain't enough? Seventy-four won't give me no more. That's it. 78, that's it. Turned it off. Let's see if it's off. Yep. Hey, we can wish upon a star, right? <laughs> 74, that's it. That's all they'll give me. 78 with it off. 74 with it on. Okay. So we got that low, that low. Now we have this low. Let's see what it's giving us in this charger. It's supposed to be 18 volts, but who knows after we got all that up there. Let's put it on DC. Hold up. So it's giving us six volts out this charger right now. DC. So we're spitting 12 volts, we're getting six back. Let's see if it's a usable. How can we see if it's usable? Well, we can try to spin a motor, right? A low amperage motor, because we know there's not a lot of amps in there. I, I, I know there's not, because I'm not creating amp, amps. The um, only amps that I'm getting is what these little things are giving me. This little plug, whatever amps that is giving me, that's what amps I'm creating. I'm not creating it, it is. Whatever amps are coming out of here, that's what amps I'm getting. Whatever amps are going through here, that's what amps are getting. I'm just creating a bolt. The amps are coming with the stuff that I'm plugging, hooking them up, hooking up to my generator. So, I need to put something on it so if it does spin, y'all can see it spin, right? Hmm, what could I put up here real quick? Oh, a piece of tape, right? Okay, a piece of tape. Let me find it. Come on, tape, stick to it. Come on. Well, I tried to stick something to it. It won't stick. And I ain't got the tape. Let's see here. Almost. Okay. I got a little piece of vinyl stuck to it. Now, let's see if we're getting any. Let's see if this 6 volts is enough to add, actually at least twerk this motor real quick. A little twerk spin for us. Let's see, with all that connected. Nope, not enough. Too much, too much power. Oh, it's spinning, it's spinning. Yeah, it's spinning. Ooh, and it's got some amps to it too. And the reason why I know that is because I could press it and it's hard to stop. There wasn't no amps. It's, I'll say it's about 25, 30 milliamps at least. I feel it. Let me find something so you can see it spinning on, man, because that ain't working. Right. 
Okay, there we go. Now, you ready to see it spin? So we know that light dimmers are low because when we took the look, when we took it off, the voltage went up. Here's another load. Huh? Three loads. Yeah, those lights dimmed down. They definitely did, but I still got a whole strip lit. You see it? You see that? There's three rows. Bright. All the other ones are still lit, but they dimmed out. You see the difference? Hmm? Now remember, I got the charger still hooked up. The charger light's still on. That's what I'm talking about. You see that motor spinning? Huh? Is that usable DC energy I'm producing? Through the lights over there, obviously we know it's usable, but now we got the motor spinning. Let's put the charge on. Why not? Now we got the battery connected to it, charging. Let's see if we still get the spin. No, I don't think that's going to allow it to spin. Let's find out. Oh, my spinner fell. Oh, well. Yeah, there's mad torque on this. Yo, this is the highest I ever got this torque. This um, light dimmer is definitely 100% helping. I don't know, it's giving it more amperage because this motor would spin before, but not this hard. It's spinning hard right now. I'm amazed, that's definitely some amperage behind that. Okay, so boom. We got the load on here, with the plug. <laughs> we got over 200 volts DC load on it right there. Mm -hmm. Now, and we got the charger on it. Just to show you that this is actually hooked into this board, I'll unplug it. Here's the plug. You see? You see? You see, you see, you see. You say no jokes. No jokes. The Kevin McFarlane Generator by L. Lotto King. Remember this. Remember this moment. 12 volts. 200 LEDs. You want to see how much it takes to light all these LEDs? You want to see? Find out. Let's take the load off. Shorten it out. Shit. Now this DC right here will shock you. So I'm not trying to get shocked. This high voltage DC. Shock Pants off your butt. Bam, they off. Move it out the way. Now let's see what we're actually getting off this DC, man. All right, let me take this lo load off. We're, we're, we're gonna check with no loads. So even though this is the AC load, it's still Definitely 100% take it away from the DC. Oh, you see those sparks right there? That's, my, that's why it's all over the place. Now you see, once I took those loads off, do you see what happened? Look at my amp draw. I want you to look at my amp draw without the loads. So. Look at my amp draw with this load. Do you see this? Look at my amp draw with the load. Look at my amp draw without the load. 
Are you kidding me? Is it dropping the milliamps? Yes, it is. The load is dropping the milliamps. It's dropping the milliamps. It takes to spin that motor with a load on it. It's way less. It stops blinking. With both of those loads, goes and drops less. So now let's see what it's giving me without the load. When I turn this off, it'll drop less though, I think. Let's see. Yeah, see? Boom. I'll turn this back on. It's up high. Now I put this load on while that's on. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Now look at it. I turned this all the way down. Dropped under 200. It's amazing. With the load on it, the amp draw is going down off the energy it's pulling. That's crazy. So let me see what DC we got here, man. Stop playing real quick. It's DC, remember, not AC, DC. Come on, give me something here. Some blood, oh, some blood, some blood, hold up. Okay. Turn it up, I don't want to take that chance. Damn, 140, what, two? What's that? Without a load. Oh, shit. Frack! Just got shocked, man. <laughs> shit shocked the shit out of me. Okay, see, boom. We got 147 DC. 148 with the ballast on with the um light dimmer let's turn it off and see hold it and press it okay let's 